Iconic country legend Ed Bruce sadly passed away on Friday, January 8th from natural causes. Bruce was 81 years old. The singer-songwriter is best known for this song. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Born on December 29, 1939, in Kaiser, Arkansas, Bruce moved to Memphis with his family early in his life, and according to his official biography page, he considered Tennessee his home state. He began penning songs in his teens. Then while still a senior in high school, he started recording on the legendary Memphis-based Sun Records in 1957, releasing a single titled Rock, Bop, and Baby under the name Edward Bruce. I'm in heaven, my baby loves me right. Bruce's noteworthy numbers consisted of Save Your Kiss which he wrote for pop star Tommy Rowe in 1962. Now hop over to 1965, and Charlie Lauvin recorded Bruce's song See the Big Man Cry. Bruce would go on to spend the next decade plus recording for a variety of labels, yet he still avoided mainstream success as he also began to do voiceover work. He scored his first chart single in 1967 with Walker's Woods. Then after signing with Monument in 1969, scored small success with Everybody Wants to Get to Heaven and Song for Jenny. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country, and we're going to dive into Ed Bruce's industry success, success that involves artists such as Willie Nelson and Tanya Tucker. But before we do, we would love to let Bruce's family and friends know we're thinking of them so feel free to leave any words of condolence or encouragement in the comments section below. When the 1970s rolled around, Bruce finally started to gain wider noted success, beginning when Tanya Tucker and Crystal Gale recorded The Man That Turned My Mama On and Restless in 1974. Bruce would go on to finally score a top 20 hit with Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up To Be Cowboys in 1976. Speaking of mamas don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys, remember this number? Them that don't know him won't like him. Them that do sometimes won't know how to take him. Well, in 1978, Willie Nelson and Waylon Jennings turned this number into a duet, taking the song to number one on the Billboard's Hot Country Songs chart and winning a Grammy Award for Best Country Performance by a duo or group with vocal in 1979. Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. This number would go on to appear in the movie The Electric Horseman, which also featured Nelson in his acting debut. Bruce signed to MCA Records in 1980, where he would score a string of solo successes that included Diane, The Last Cowboy Song, When You Fall in Love, Everything's a Waltz, Evil Angel, and Love's Found You and Me. He reached number one with You're the Best Break This Old Heart Ever Had in 1982. I don't like the way it feels to feel my heart break. He returned to RCA Records in 1984 and reached number three with You Turn Me On Like a Radio in 1985. Bruce scored his final top 10 single with Nights in 1986 and his last top 40 single with Quietly Crazy in 1987. Aside from his singing career, the singer-songwriter also had a noteworthy acting career appearing on TV's Brett Maverick alongside Jamer Gardner, as well as hosting Truckin' USA and American Sports Cavalcade on the Nashville Network. Competing here at the ISCA Grand Finale. They're competing for a purse of $60,000 in cash and over $100,000 in merchandise. And appearing in made-for-TV movies, including The Chisholms and The Last Days of Frank and Jesse James. He graced the big screen too, in Fire Down Below with Steven Siegel, among many others. Give this video a thumbs up if you will miss this country legend. Funeral plans have yet to be announced, but one thing's for sure, the country music community is grieving the loss of Ed Bruce. I'm Addison Hager with Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.